Because Jacob is firing back. Alvarez. Today's video, I wanted to go over something that I seen in the Canelo, Alvarez, Danny Jacobs fight. If any of you were watching that fight, one of the things that Canelo Alvarez does so beautifully, people think that he's getting hit sometimes and he's not. He does what a lot of the all-time great fighters know how to do. And that's take away the punch, the last second, just by moving their chin. They, they learn how to take away that power, that punch, and sometimes don't even get hit. They, they make you completely miss just by taking their chin away from the shot. They'll, they'll rotate their chin away from the shot. When I trained Paul Spadafora, we used to actually work on that. I would throw the hand, I would... I would use the hand pads and I would throw punches at him and he would just take his chin away from the hand pad. And if you watch the sparring session on YouTube, when he sp sparred the all-time great Floyd Mayweather, he was making the great Floyd Mayweather miss by doing the same exact thing that Canelo Alvarez did. Roberto Duran used to do it. If you watch him fighting Davey Moore, he was tremendous at doing that same thing. He roll, they roll their chin away from the shot. And if you watch previous videos that I've done in the past on Evander Holyfield, how Evander Holyfield used to do the same thing. Even when he would use his hand, he would roll his chin. He rolls it, uh, like I talk about, when, when the power's coming, you take your chin away from the power even when you're blocking. But Canelo at times, in that fight against Danny Jacobs, against, Canelo, uh, against uh, Glovkin, when he would get in a position where his hands weren't there to catch or protect and it's just his chin, he will just take his chin away from the shot. He knows how to just take his chin. Here comes the punch, he takes his chin right away from it. If a hook's coming, last second he takes, and a lot of people think he's getting hit really hard. Oh, he could take a heck of a punch. He's not even getting hit. Or he also reminds me of when Andre Ward fought Sergey Kovalev. And they thought that Andre Ward got hit with a big right hand. And when they did the instant replay, he never even got hit with the punch. The punch completely missed him because he just, just slightly moved himself out of the way and the punch missed him by one inch. Like we always talk about, it's inches in this game. You want to make a guy miss by an inch. But uh, Canelo Alvarez does that tremendous. Uh, Roberto Duran used to do that fantastic. Like I said, Paul Spadafora, Vander Holyfield would move his, and, uh, move his chin away from the... Every time he, a punch comes, Vander always would take his chin. When he rolls with the right hand, he takes his chin to his right. When he rolls with the hook, he takes his chin to the left. And those guys do, do the same thing if their hands aren't in position. They know how to take their chin with the punch. In addition to what I just covered about how these guys roll their chin away from the shot, the fighters that we're talking about, those guys are so, they have such great insight that they just don't roll their chin, okay? They roll whatever they have to to get away from that shot. So... If you watch those guys, when, it's, when it, they know the shot is directed toward their chin, they'll roll their chin away from the shot. If they know it's a higher shot, they'll just roll, they'll just roll their face. They'll just roll their head this way, just roll that way, roll, they can just go like this. It ain't so much the chin, it can, it can even be a temple, they go like this and they go this way. So they know how, they have that insight and that intuition on how to exactly make the guy miss uh, where, uh, the, make the opponent miss at where the opponent is targeting the punch. Again, this comes down to what I'm always talking about on this channel. Uh, having no stress and no tension when you're boxing. You have to take the tension and the way this technique and this craft 
the way that cr the craft is and the technique of rolling your head and moving your head, that all comes down to being relaxed as well and having no stress and no tension. Just like I talk about the tension in your hands. If your body's loose and your body's relaxed and you have the insight, you have the experience, it doesn't happen overnight. But when you practice this technique and you have this craft and you're able to be able to be relaxed in the ring, that's what's going to make you be able to do the things that you see Canelo Alvarez and, like I said, Paul Spadafore, who I train, and uh, Andre Ward and Vander Holyfield and Roberto Duran was beautiful with it. That's something you can work on in the gym with hand pads uh, or just eat with guys with, uh, you know, you're not even sparring. You're not doing like real low impact sparring where you're just throwing punches at guys and you can, at each other, and you can work on just rolling your chin with the shot. It, it, it is a skill, it is a craft, and, and um, some of the all-time greats have really mastered it.